Let me get a better position. Doing good, you guys. Doing good. All right. Should be enough to get in there. You no, probably maybe not. Kick. Well, you're gonna have to kick some in there. Yeah. But that stuff will be easier to move. Looks like. Off right away in there. It's uh, it's like this, about this high, about, about this high, high and then, like slope. It, then it gets to the water. So we can probably push stuff inside. Yeah, that's my concern. Is all I see is rock. Well, I hope it's not just filled in. Yeah, I'm gonna grab my flashlight. And it looks like it's about this much. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're good. Let me uh, let me hop in there. If that works for you guys. Yeah. I got it. All right. We cleared it out for the most part, but boy, this is tight. Doug went in first, then Ian, then our stuff, and now us. Here we go. Me out here. Not us. Yeah. It's big. Alright, watch yourself here. It's kind of rough. Alright, we got to set up now. Okay, I'm going to try to yep. get down right here. Yeah. Sweet. Oh, shit. Yeah. It's a bit of a tunnel. Yeah, it is. It's bigger than that freaking little hole. A little rabbit hole. Yeah. yeah. Welcome to inside the mine here. We just left the portal. A few feet back that bare little light there is the entrance that we had to crawl through and now we are in one of the largest abandoned mines in the entire state and probably one of the largest abandoned mines in the entire country yep yeah yeah this water level varies a good bit at yeah, this bit but Walking forwards. Let's see what there is to see so far. <coughs> Air is good, and the mineralization is excellent. We're just going to hopefully find our way around and get to the really good stuff not too long from here. Yeah, there's some logs underneath I just kicked, but yeah. I'm taking it slow, so we're good. There's a few ties along the way. Yep, I'm trying to walk to the side of them, but they're huge. Man, that's slick. But we got all sorts of equipment. We're ready to be underground for a good few hours, so hopefully we'll find some cool stuff to see. There's, there's a bunch of equipment and stuff just stacked in the way. So, yeah, good luck here. So I brought the wide angle lens here. Just to capture all this yep. beauty. All the beauty of you sliding on over. It's kind of awkward. Yep. <gasps> Very awkward because you don't have a whole lot of range of motion in waders. Yeah. It's nice and cold. Track on both sides? Yeah. Well, there's track just down, so. Okay. I just completely made it money up. Yeah. So. Right, bud. All right, so we've gotten past the dam. And just this silty water. You can see how it's not silty over there. It's getting kicked up so easily. Like, I feel an inch to an inch and a half of silt with each step I take. And being right in the middle of the rail is a good guide. Watch out, there's rock there. Alright. 
Alright, you see it? We've got a rock here. There. I'm gonna go like uh, I'm, going I'm just like gonna follow this. you, Doug. Follow the I'm just feeling for everything. Mm -hmm. There's a pipe on the right. I'm just hang on guys, hang on. Oh, my goodness. Sorry, you're beating me with a punch here. This is so much I can see. It just looks like orange. It just looks like orange soda to me. From here. That's yeah. sand. Look at that. That's sand. Yeah. There's a sediment there. That's pretty neat. That's why there's a collapse here. Yeah. Yeah. The mice have been back here though. So if they've been back here then. They've been pooping. Hang on, Everyone Doug, for a sec. Stop. What's up? Just stop moving for a sec. It's a really big waterfall. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good to hear, Ian. Yeah. Good to hear, good to hear. All right, so on the left side, it looks a little better. Yeah. This is actually neat. The water level is going right. The water's actually moving a little bit. Is it? Yeah. There's, so oh, you yeah, see, look at the particulates. Yeah. It's actually moving. That's pretty neat. Yeah. That is pretty cool. There's some more rocks here too, but nothing bad on the other side. Okay. <clears throat> walking further along here. Yeah, you're in some nice muck, indeed. I can just feel it. I'm stepping on rocks and pipes and stuff. What's that? I'm taking your pitch. Okay. Stopes? Yeah. Oh boy. Doug's saying things. Um, climb over a board or something, I think. Don't go too fast now. No, I'm with you all. Okay. This is definitely where the water's coming from. Yeah, it is. Oh, that's pretty neat. That's your match. Let me see. 1958, there's that marker right there. Take I gotta see if I can get this on camera. Just gotta make sure I'm getting all these on camera here. This miner's graffiti is new. A drill? Yeah. So someone nicknamed Professor probably worked in here. Hmm. That's pretty neat. Uh-oh. It's silting up. There's a bunch more miner's graffiti on this side. Holy cow. Didn't even notice. Big old skull right there. That's pretty neat. Oh my god. Oh my god, Dad, you're gonna wanna see this. Dad, 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 get over here. Alright. Yeah, oh my god. Holy! That's hundreds of feet tall. And I think that one goes back to that origin when they saw it. Yeah. Careful, a lot of sketchy stuff. Yeah. That's, uh, That's uh, giant winds that goes down to a pool of water. Holy shit! <laughs> that is literally like a thousand feet side to side. Yeah. And my understanding is this was the second biggest one up here? Second biggest one, I believe it. I don't think we can get up there. Uh, yeah, that's just... Wow. Can't even light that up without my hands burning. Alright. I'm swapping out flashlights real quick. Is, uh, this is something to behold. Yeah. So, this is just a giant fault line right here. Absolutely massive. Yeah, I'm never telling anyone in any of this mine. Wow. I don't know, but that's where all the water's going. Alright, we're going to figure this out.
Uh, oh, careful. This is yeah. really loose right here, too. Yeah, this is an internal. Yeah, so that's just a continuation of the stope. It just goes. That's probably a few hundred feet deep water. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Going over the side. They mined out this mountain, that's for sure. Yeah. Looks like it goes out on the right, but pretty heavy sulfur smelling. Uh, pretty still air in here. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm still going to at least walk this far in. I'm just kind of nervous now because we're on top of a whole bunch of stuff. Ah! What? This ground does not sound good. I was testing it a little bit. But it's just enormous, all this. There's something down there. Explosive cord, probably. Some more big stuff. Yeah. Some of that right here, maybe, too. Yeah, debt cord, maybe. All right, old man. What do you think? This is crazy. Yeah. Try not to shine the light in your eyes, that's all. Crazy cool. Yeah. This is... <coughs> yeah, I'm smelling the sulfur now. Yeah. There is a lot of mineralization in the wall still, though. I think that's the way up, the is this little goat trail? Yeah. We'll oh yeah. There, we could maybe check that out, but I, yeah, I can't. I can't see myself climbing up that. Yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna check out down here though. Uh. Yeah. Uh, that's because the ground's not good. So don't, don't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be hitting that. If the ground sounds hollow, it's not good ground. There you go. Why not? Yeah. That's some good stuff there. Yeah. I'll just swap out light skin because this one is burning in my hand now. That's why I brought multiple flashlights. Yeah. yeah. All sorts of good stuff in here, man. That doesn't look like very, it's very mineralized, but... Some... Crazy stuff in here. Hundreds of feet tall, a few hundred feet wide. Another tunnel off that way. Tunnel off probably that way. Yeah. We're gonna check out as much of this as we can today. So that's gotta be either that's gotta be the ore. I'm trying to not burn out the camera here. That's some good looking stuff. I don't know, I don't know what know. it is. I don't know what it is either. I might try to find a larger sample, but it looks like pyrite mixed with some stuff. There's a lot of minerals listed. That right there. Yeah, and up above, and continuing on. I mean, this has got to be the ore they were going after, so. Yeah. We're just checking out some ore. I think you're just hitting Definitely limestone something. there. I think you're just hitting limestone there, Dad. Or the bedrock. But yeah, there's definitely something in there. I think I saw a larger chunk. Or at least some chunks right here. What's the gold looking stuff that I think? I don't know what it is. That's the problem. I've seen the <laughs> the list of minerals at this mine is huge. Yeah. Like hundreds of minerals. Hundreds of different alternating types of minerals. I mean just in that cavern alone there's probably the 20, 30. <laughs> it's so big. Yeah. It's pretty unreal. Yeah. I'm glad I prepared enough flashlights. Yeah, I think you're just picking a bedrock there. Um, I'm gonna check out, I'm gonna go further down here. Don't go near that. Not going the up the goat path, huh? Well, I'm not, no. I might in a minute, we'll see. I just wanna see what's down here first though. There's some of the ore right here. Big chunks of it. Yeah, the cavern continues on. Uh, it doesn't continue on anywhere, but just a little bit of it was excavated here. I'm trying to see what this was. Oh, it's just a little bit there. Wow. My hand is on fire from these flashlights. For the light. I know. It's just incredible, man. I think that's some of the ore. 
Oh, there's some paper right here. Probably paper. A, it was probably a newspaper at one point. Or a dynamite box, maybe. Maybe it's a pair of jeans under here. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on before you do. Can you pick up that for me? Oh, yeah, look at that one. Oh, it fell apart. It's pretty delicate. Very, yeah. I don't know where you can put it in a bag or something. I don't really have anything. This one's kind of good. It's right on that rock. That is a good sample, I'd say. I'm trying to get it to focus. There we go. That's a good one. Where can you put it so it doesn't fall apart? I don't know. That's kind of the problem. You got a pocket on your... I do, but this gets squished so much when you're walking. Well, I can probably put it on mine. Yeah. Mine doesn't get much pressure. Now we can also see if we can get some bigger pieces here. Oop, like this one here. <clears throat> Mineral colors in that one. I can put it in my... Yeah, that might be a, That might actually survive is the thing. There's some incredible colors in here. In this rock. Yeah. They have the huge hooks in the so those huge rocks hooks. so they could put cables to them. And yeah, so those huge hooks yeah. actually are an interesting bit of mining history. So back before they had automatic machines to do it, they basically strung a bucket, basically, that would go out and then scoop stuff in oh. and just pull it towards them so they could actually pull it out in mine carts. That's what those are for. At least in here. But that is also a major fault line right there. Somebody's digging over here. Yeah, someone was. Let's go see what they were digging at. Just be careful. Ah, my hand. It's kind of the same as the level. I'm surprised how close that level was below us. I know. How close to what? The level was below us. Oh my. I can't look at this easily. There we go. Biden. Not much on that, but the littler rocks, like these black ones over here, yeah. those probably contain good amounts of zinc, combined with a whole bunch of sulfide-based minerals. It's just, it's just an incredible mine. It really is. In every way, man. Just something special here. Looks like there's some more debt cord and stuff just underneath us here, so be careful. I'd wager this was an unplanned collapse here. Or, or I'll push they it. might have dumped it from the upper level. Yeah. What's your final, old man? That's just one street. Yeah, so when rock rubs against each other, or two sides rub against each other in a fault, that's what creates that. That right there is called a hanging wall, because it's hanging basically over top of us. But there's so many different faults going in different directions that it's kind of crazy. I think it's a vein right there. I'm coming over. Yeah. Whatever it is, it looks nice, but... It looks pretty. There's definitely veins of stuff in here. You need to come in here with a power washer. <laughs> yeah. Or even just a spray it. bottle and a rag. It'll <laughs> work. That's a hell of a straight up hanging wall though. I think Doug went the other way again. Yeah. Ooh, there's something up there. Might have been the base for the other marker. Oh yeah, that's, I think that's Palagorskite. Yeah, that's Palagorskite. Careful, mm -hmm. it falls apart easy. Yeah, it's like it's soft. It's like it is paper, like wet paper. Now that's cool. That's awesome. Remember we still do have like four or five tons we can go down. Oh yeah? Not just do stuff here. Okay. I did see a piece fall off that was kind of cool. This right here. Yeah. I was just on there. Yeah. That's very nice. But it's just combined with a whole bunch of other minerals in there and I just don't know what they are. It makes it so nice. Oh my gosh, look at that. In there. That's beautiful. All right, I gotta take a few pictures. Here. Thing is gonna come yeah, off. hold off on that just for a little bit here. All right, so we're coming back out of that giant space. We're going over to another.
If anything, we can come back to that other spot. I think I saw a way up to the tunnel up top that didn't involve us going the goat route. <coughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, this is all like probably 1920s and stuff. That coupling is pretty nice, but yeah. So what they probably used that steel plate for was uh, I think that they was would, an orb in there. I do think it was, yeah. What they probably used that steel plate for was uh, a mine cart would drive onto it, mm -hmm. then they would turn it on that because there's less friction. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's what it would for anyway. I mean, it seems like it's an orb. Yes, it does. I'll get another view of it here. It yeah. Check it out. Yep. That absolutely looks like an orb, especially from up above or something like that, because it just goes on for ages up there. It's insanity. But here we are walking again. Well preserved. Oh yeah, actually. Yeah, it's not bad. That's definitely more modern though. But the name is definitely worn off or broken off. Not bad though. But these sleepers are huge. Other people recently? Or 50 years ago? Yeah, relatively recently. A lot of boot prints, yeah. I don't know if you can see those. We got a lot of boot prints. Don't hit it too much, Dad. Please. Please. I hope not. Ooh, that's really cool looking. All the fungus on that. There. I've got some on. There's another huge open stoop. Or huge stoop. Not open stoop. It's just enormous. And then. There was probably an ore chute right here. So. Yeah. Three BT. Right there. I don't know if it shows up as well. Yeah. How's it look on the other side of this? Oh, looks, looks good. good. Yeah. Good. I'm just trying not to break everything. Oh man, the colors. That's neat. Everything's big. Yeah. Everything's oh, bigger. Yeah, I'd be willing to go up there. Everything's bigger. Yeah, I gotta take some pictures of this stuff then. Makes me wish I'd brought the tripod. Wow. Huh? Yeah, but I didn't have enough room to fit in the backpack. We kind of... <laughs> What's that? You got a better light? Yeah. See if that's passable. Crap. Yeah, just a second here. I'm going to swap this because it's burning my hand. This doesn't do it. How's the air monitor looking? Mm, it looks pretty rough, but... Yeah. Uh, 21. Or 20.1. So that's, that's very good. amazing. The front was 20.4, so... Yeah. So... Oh, yeah, I don't think we'll want to do this one. Yeah, Yeah, really deep water. It gets really silty in there. And that looks more like a collapse than an ore chute failure. So... We're going to be careful and not do this tunnel. I I don't know. If you come up here, there's a lot of a lot of silt and stuff you'll have to cross. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, I do want to grab pictures of that. We'll be over in a second, Doug. Do you want to get pictures of that? Yeah, I want to grab a picture of that. Give me a second here. Turn this light off. That way, which is a Look how far across it is. They're over there. I'm over here in this area, and it goes up quite a bit. This is freaking crazy. 
Big. Maybe this will join that one or something. I don't know. Well, I've ended up climbing up to another section here with some incredible formations. And some, ooh, actually, I just noticed this that I skipped over. Some copper wire. Kind of sitting here exposed, that's pretty neat. But, uh, this beautiful ladder and rope and stuff going up this way. We're not going to go up there. We're, in fact, going to go across this series of stopes well over there. Yeah, it is that far and that big. And then we'll, uh, we'll just see what we can do. Because, uh, I gotta, I gotta get over there and see this. Because this is... Just such an enormous area. We're probably gonna have to come back to this if we can. With some other folks, maybe. This is just such an enormous mine. And then there's more stopes. And more stopes and more. There's the original trackway. It's so dark in here. I'm glad I brought like four extra batteries for my flashlights. There's the trackway we came in. I think I got that on camera. It's hard to tell. I'm losing track of everything at this point. We decided not to go that way. Yeah, I got that on camera. So, I'm heading up here. I joined Doug and the old man. Oh my word. My legs are sweaty. And these waders. There's no way to get heat out. Oh. Holy shit. It's just huge. I'm up here. What's up here? It gets bigger. Gets bigger? Oh, you think that one? Oh. Look at I know. It's unbelievable. I'm I called this one of the biggest abandoned mines, but geez. Yeah. All of this is awesome. That like, uh... That's quartz, I think. In large port. That's quartz. Little... Lines and stuff. I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. It's all just cool. Yeah. Cool. So I don't it's know what these... Nails in it. Yeah, I don't know what these nails... And there's another support or something over there. There's like a pile of... Yeah. That could be. But there's also some over there. I don't know if that. Oh yeah, that's awesome looking. What? Oh. Yeah, no, I'm good. <laughs> I want to come take a look at that. Yeah. At least. This is loose. Wow. Yeah, it is loose rock just coming all the way through here. Oh, I thought it was water down there. Yeah, that's the pit nowhere right there. I think we're... I'm coming, I'm coming. There? No, it's not a pit to nothing. Maybe the water over there is. Is that rope? Uh, That's right probably here. probably steel rope. I wouldn't trust it. Maybe we can go around the long way. Because it oh, looks yeah, like there's a... I think that's an incline. Alright. Let's check it out. Yeah. Alright, you remember where we came from? Yep, we're... <laughs> our main path was over there. I actually was worried about that, so I'm making sure to remember. Because... This is, I'm gonna check over here and make sure it is an incline first. There's lots of cable, or a copper cable over here. Yep, this is an incline, we can get down here. There used to be another 
drift off this way, but they definitely scoped this out. Or scooped it out, I should say, too. Yeah, I don't know what it is. But... Oh my gosh, I think this is sphalerite. Yeah, that's sphalerite. That's a, it's a lead sulfide. I will in just a second. It's causing my hand to catch on fire, so I gotta... These lights get so hot, they actually burn me a little bit. So, yeah, go ahead and sneak by. And then, I don't think it, yeah, it looks like that pool is just nothing, but probably a sump or something was there. Yeah. Yeah, I think it might have continued with this or gone down to that or something. I don't know, but yeah. This is just incredible. Oh, those are all rock bolt things, I think. Rock bolt braces. So that's probably newer. This is definitely an incline through here. So we're going to check this out, see what we can find, because this is just, it's mine. Okay. Right there, back the water. Yeah, at least it sounds like it. Okay. Well, what we can... That's probably the other, that was probably the one on the right. We were choosing the left and the right side. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Enormous in every way. Yeah. This was not only well worth coming to today, this is, this has been a treat. Your, huh? Meeting your expectations. And, That's pretty funny. Um, <laughs> tamale jewels. Tomato Juno. Tomato Jadaba. Hang on. Mama. Go ahead and keep walking. I'm going to see what it says. There's more over here. Tamama. Tamama Ju. J O tilde O. Man, I'm going to have a video to cut together from all this. Iojahi, 1950. Lessard. Lessard. Annual reunion. 1566, maybe? Or 15266. That's some really cool graffiti, though. Yeah. You carve your name somewhere. Yeah, this does just lead back. I just wanted to check it out real quick. There's some more of that flat. Oh, there's a, there's a breeze here. Yeah. On it, old. That's where we came in though, right? This way? No. This leads back to where we came in. Yeah. Oh, we, yeah. This is right across from where we were. At the waterfall. Yeah. So, it just leads right back. I'm going to go ahead and walk back and join them here. or something? That's what I kind of thought, but it's got an H. Highland coffee? H. Yeah, Highland coffee looks like. Highland coffee, Highland. Yeah, something like that. Let's go check things out with Doug. I think this would have been a hoist or something, man. Yeah, something to get this stuff up there. Here. Yeah. Doug's taking a break down there. I can't blame him. Doug, what's the oxygen look like? Uh, cool. I just feel short of breath and I just wanted to blame it on something other than my fitness. <laughs> that is zinc ore right there. Can you turn it back towards the camera? That is zinc ore in what looks like sphalerite, which is lead. It's pretty heavy. That's pretty neat. I'll break a chunk off. Oh, I see it right here. Yeah, there's this. Oh, there's smaller. a lot there. <sighs> yeah, there's a nice smaller bit. Ignore my blood. Yeah. 
You can I'm kill yourself the, being smart. I'm the really workhorse of this group. I'm yeah. Well, you're the one with the rock hammer. <laughs> That's some awesome rock, man. Oh, well, sorry. it's gonna get smaller. Yeah, go ahead and make it smaller. Okay. Okay. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, it's pretty hard. It's mostly lead. Just gonna hit your lens or your camera. Yeah. I can buy a new one. You can buy it now. You can sell your old one. Dude, if it's in the service of getting a good shot, I'm going to sacrifice a lens. Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. There's a decayed rat's nest this far in. We're like 3,500 feet into the mine here. Yeah, there was poop up top. That's crazy. Like, actually crazy. So. It's a bit slick down here, so there's just, just this is all sphalerite and zinc ore, I believe. Well, it certainly looks nice and blue and inviting. There used to be water flow, or no, this is all rust from over there. I keep breathing right in front of my lens and you can't see anything. It's all rust from over there. It used to have more water here, but yeah, this is just a little collecting area or something. Well, look at that stope. Looks like there's a goat trail going on the way up. Nope. You're not going on that? Echo! It almost looks like that uh, tunnel that we were just looking at. Might yeah. Straight across at one point. Oh, yeah. yeah it, it, didn't, it doesn't continue from this side, though, so. Yeah. Can you see it? Yep. I think that's the other side of that one square tunnel that was from the other side that we saw. Man, everything looks really blue with this light. Uh, but yeah, this is uh. What's across the way there? On that, uh, to the right. That? Oh, just rope. Oh yeah, just some metal rope there. This water, man, this is blue green. It's so clear and still though. See this stuff there? That's some air. That's water. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I, I don't know, honestly. It's very delicate. There's a bunch of it over here. A bunch of chips of it. So. Oh, it looks like it maybe was from that. Like it's, that's receded. And it's yeah. behind chemicals. I mean, that's where it's coming from, right? It's yep. this shit. Yeah. But it turns white after it's been, after it dries out. Yeah. It's all because it's all over. Dude. Yeah, it is. So it's I'm going to have to... Recording. I'm going to have to take a break for a second because uh, uh, my camera's overheating. Yeah. I mean, I've got over an hour's worth of video on this thing now. So um, we're going to take a break here for a minute, let the camera cool, and uh, see if we can find anything interesting in the meantime. So we're seeing some <coughs> interesting directions here in that tunnel, in the A tunnel. I'll show you where we are in just a sec. But apparently the boys were here. So, it's just so freaking dark. We are all the way across from that uh, pond, I guess. And we've climbed up that goat trail and we're extending into the square at it that was all the way, or the square drift that's all the way across. Here. Yeah, and how thick they are. Oh my gosh, this is this this is icky. <laughs> well, it's pretty disgusting. Let's be honest. Just schlicking our way through. That rail is pretty bad. Oh my gosh, don't do that. That's so bad. I know you're going deaf, but please don't make us deaf. That was loud. Yeah, it is. 
Those insulators are pretty big. Yeah. These wires are pretty big. I think they were running a three phase motor back in Yeah. Here's some, some veins. That's actually one vein I think just exposed differently. At least pull it off, yeah. Yeah. It's a little something, but not much else. It's soft right in there. Yeah. So let's continue on here. Maybe. I definitely is not rich enough for them to be following with this big of a tunnel. But considering it was pointing to the 700 level. Could be interesting stuff in here. These rails. Yeah. Oh, these are some big rails. They were turning too. Yep. That's They're a nice shot. Right. Very nice shot. The boards are so thick. So there's an ore bin here. And a, oh, wow. An ore shoot. Yeah, it's just a discovery thing. Yeah, it's just a little. Just a little one, and it's definitely failed. No, and it goes and opens up. I wouldn't doubt it with this mine, but I'm not climbing up that. No. No. We'll this tunnel? Yeah, see no. Shoot, this is a mine. Yeah. This is one of the largest mines in Washington, dude. Yeah. Shit. Should we stay on the main line with the string? Uh, I'd say we at least check this out a little bit. This one? I want to see where it goes. All right. Watch where you walk. This is a huge tunnel, man. Okay, you know, the, out of this, I want you to figure out what that paper like stuff was. You mean like the paint like stuff? Or? Yeah. Yeah. I wish I could. Ooh, there's another ore chute. It's a giant one. Oh, wow. That's big. Yeah, it is. And it leads up right to a giant stope. This tunnel ends in about another 30, 40 feet though. So know. this stope is right, it's right along a vein. Nice. You scared me with walking up next to you. I wasn't expecting. That's a nice stove right there. But everything else, yeah, this is a. Uh, pretty big orbin. Yeah. Or shoot. Or, and, or bin and or shoot. Yeah. Area with the swimming pool. Yes. Oh, this wood just falls apart underneath your feet. This stuff's been wet for 50 years. And an enormous stope above it. Look at that. Continues on another 100 feet past there. Yeah, that wood is just falling apart underneath your feet there. Yeah, it is the end, but that's a giant or, or shoot. I'm going to get a couple pictures of this before we go anywhere. Don't break it. <laughs> it's an artifact. It's one of those. I think it's a, it's not a crystal. See the pile behind it up there. <laughs> yeah, and the, the stope. Weight, yeah. The stope just continues on, man. Uh, that's another giant one. I think there's a giant rock that came down from the ceiling in there. Oh, it took it out? Not this, but oh, okay. I just see a giant rock just sitting in the middle of it. So, yeah, I'm gonna grab a couple pictures of this one before we continue. Oh yeah. So we've come back out of that tunnel right there, off to the right. There's nothing interesting on the way back out. These wires and everything though, man. Just incredible. And now, we're at another lagoon. And another set of gigantic stopes. Holy cow, how are we going to remember where we, we're getting out of here? Stope. This is... Oh, this one is deep, though. Careful on that copper cable there between your legs. Yeah, if it was 100 degrees in here, it'd be nice. Probably 30 or 40 degrees in that water. The water, or? Might have used to. Hey, 
there is a pipe heading down that way. So yeah, you're right, I think this might be just filled in. Because there's a lot of loose rock in there. So we might be above another open stope or a stope that they filled in. It looks like a pipe comes. Yeah, it looks like yeah. it goes down in. Because it continues on there and then just goes. Well, however old this thing is, it's been covered by this. Rock fall. Oh my gosh, this goes on 100 feet, 200 feet high above us. There's another huge fault across the way. I can't see it because I'm breathing right in front of the land. Man, it's... Yeah, the train goes that way. Mine doesn't. Well, it does. Got it. String. Lettuce. It's so enormous in every way, at every spot. You got that cable hook up there. Yeah. It's all the way up. A bunch of them. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. They were really mucking out of here. Does it go on? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Want to see what's over here? Yeah. It's a ladder. Yeah, I'm not going down that ladder though. Because that has water at the bottom. We're yeah, we're coming. This is freaking nuts. I know. <clears throat> well, that's why I'm kind of worried about uh, people figuring out where we are or something. Because we're in New Mexico. Yeah. the top from down there from that little lagoon. Right. Goes like on and on here. Each open area. Like they want to find their way back. Yes. Yeah. I like that. That is the it's a very smart way. It's the Hansel and Gretel tactics. Yeah. It's just enormous. There's a, another pool of water. Looks like it's 50 feet down. At least. I, I gotta switch flashlights, it's burning my hand. And it's another. It's another. I believe it. I think that heads down to the 700, which was down that way. Watch yourself on that edge there. I know. So I pulled my flashlight out. Yeah. Who knows what treasures leave this way? These are another tunnel. Yeah. I hope it doesn't go too much further in these tunnels. I do want to get back to the other side eventually. I don't know how much time we'll have. I gotta check. I don't know how much we got here, but. Yeah. Doug, are you wearing a watch or? Yep. What time is it? Uh, one o'clock. We've been down here for two hours already. Thanks. Yeah. Yep. Ooh, nice, a door. Yeah, wow. probably an air door. Yeah. Just, More the same. everything's huge and old in this mine. Comes the old man. Yeah. Nice door. Yeah, it is. Oh, that's an overpass right there. We're not going down it. So, so they do that to prevent air from flowing this way. To prevent air. Yep. To prevent air flow, usually in mines. Like you're blasting. Looks like slating or blasting. Yeah. Looks like the drift continues there. The rope keeps going to. I gotta. the flashlight on again because there's another level down there. University of what? Something. Oh, University of O. Yeah. I don't know. But there is another level down there just past Doug. Does it look climbable down to it? Oh, yeah. Okay. It's just more of the same. Yeah. Just more drifts. Hap. You see that? There's Hap across the way. Yeah. 1954, Hap was down here. John Blessinger, 1954. Yeah, I'd wager that was last worked then. 
can't read that writing. 560, it looks like. University of, probably Ohio. Probably University of Ohio. And then Harley Wallace. Yeah, Harley Wallace, it looks like. What's that? Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. That is something. Yeah. I think Doug's going to come around to that, it looks like. Yeah, he's over there. I'm going to take a picture here real quick before we go any further. All right. Just took some pictures of that hole down there. Doug said there was something very interesting that looked like a rather historic piece of one history. Yeah. Maybe we'll see in a second. No. There's a big moor right there. But, uh, this one definitely was a drift. Wood, there definitely is a ladder over here. I'm gonna look just past it in the back right there. Looks like a windlass. I can't, um, I can't tell. Oh, yeah, we're not going over this. Yeah, it looks like a windlass to me. It just doesn't have a. Doesn't have a thing there. Yeah. I don't know what that is, though. Interesting. Woo. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, this is a little, uh, little rickety. There's a hole right there. Don't, don't, don't do it. That ladder will give way. There's a rail right there. Yeah, but those rails are, have been in here for 50 plus years. I wouldn't trust them. Dad, Dad, they're already moving. <laughs> How far down is that? A long way. How it looks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like a good 100 foot drop. So let's not do that. Yep. And let's walk back. It's pretty surprising. Oh yeah, very good. So, we're above that level and stuff and near that possible wind list that we saw. And we found some trash, some old plastic bags that the miners back in the 50 probably left, 50s probably left. And there's this awesome old matchbook. What's this shit? Picked it once, picked it up once already, and it's already falling apart. So I'm not going to touch it again. But uh, it's uh, an advertisement for smokers' dry throat. And talking about how they can help fix that. It's pretty funny. So, what were you asking about, old man? The blue. The blue. I think that's just limestone colored differently. I don't know. I don't know. And then you got this. It's really bright right here. But yeah. I think it's just limestone. There's definitely quartz crystal right there, though. I discovered something new. Yeah. And you're not. Well, I just you're don't not know giving what it me is. any credit. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to give anyone credit. It's too cool to give people credit. There's more of that blue here. Yeah, a little bit of it. Don't think it's going across the camera, but it is blue. Just don't know what that blue is. Wish I knew. Wish I knew the blue. Blue gold. Mm hmm. Could be something. Maybe. Of the blue? Uh, I'm okay with not knowing what it is. What? Well, if I... Oh, you have a piece in your hand. Oh. I thought you were going to pick apart a piece. That was a spark. That is really cool blue. Maybe hit it with the flat end or something. Maybe I'll... Be careful. Please be careful. It is very blue. Just don't cut yourself again. I don't see any blue there. You can put the big piece in my backpack or something. This one? Yeah. Before I damage it more? Yeah. <laughs> you can just put it in a big pocket. So we come back to the first lagoon and area. And we're on our way out of the mine. Well, not just out yet, but we're going to see what we can find. 
elsewise in these giant caverns. That is the mine. What's that? The greatest artist alive is probably a miner. I know, right? Uh, the got a really long body. Long torso. Yeah, well, I think they drew her weird. <laughs> she's a good balance. And she has <laughs> There's no, no arms. arms. Well, the guys don't either. So. Well, the guys don't need arms. Well, need <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sure they did that on the way out. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Annual reunion. I know, I don't, I don't know what it means. WSC? Washington State College, maybe? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Good question. There's Hap again. Yep. Yeah. Hap. Did we go? We didn't go the right? Uh, I did, but I didn't go the whole way. something. That someone yeah. didn't like the university there. Yeah, they picked it out. Which is unfortunate for Hap. So the string didn't pick up till here. Yeah. Right? Did well, out in end? that cavern. Did it didn't go up or down? No. It just ended. Yep, the string just ended out there. I mean, it's pretty obvious they don't, we don't really need it to get through these sections. Because the main tunnel we go through is just right here. Yeah. So. But, yeah. Yeah, this is where we're going back to the main. Yeah. We're almost at the exit. Okay. Well, like 3,000 feet from the exit. Was there another place to go explore or another? Yeah, we're going to go, we're going to have to go back here in just a second. Because I don't think there's a crossing up here. This is just right next to that waterfall at the beginning. Oh, I think this comes right down. Uh, we'll have to see. I don't know. I didn't come the whole way this way. Just some of it. Is there a crossing here? Or? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. We just went to the other side. That's yeah. all water down there. That yep. Looks like it. Oh, yeah, it is. It's all water. There's a small drift there, but. It looks like you might go to the right, but. I'm not going in it, yeah. so that's a bit of a fall <laughs> with no guarantee of getting out of here. So yeah. I'm stepping away from the edge here. This water's really cool looking. But yeah, I'm quite all right with uh, the scene with here. This was definitely an ore, like a dump? Uh, an ore dump somehow, I guess. Yeah, to pretty much just get ore like from, probably from the right? stopes. They probably had some bucket or something come down, then sit on this with an ore card underneath. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. There's wood underneath your feet and it just feels like putty. Oh yeah. Oh. Breaking apart. Yeah, it is. That is gross. Headlight's dying. Yours is? It went off the bright. Oh. You got to back up at least. Yeah. We can swap to that if you want. So yeah. do we want to go back down that tunnel and check out that other stuff, stuff on the left? I'm good either way. That was the one with the ladder. Yeah. I want to see where that one went. Because it might go... Yeah. Because it might go to this still. It might go to the level of prey above us. Might, yeah. And I want to see that. Yeah. So. Good. Yeah. This one sure echoes. Yeah. Makes me feel like a car is driving overhead or something. Where do we go? To the left? Yep. The right is a failed ore shoot oh. there. So, kind of hard to get up that. Yeah. Or see if we can go up next to the ladder. Right. I'd wager the ladder is nice and rotted. Yeah, it didn't look too good. Taken care of? Good. Yeah. Just not been taken care of well. Yeah, they should come down here and stain them every once in a while. Yeah. Stain them and seal them. We're back where it started, though. And we could also possibly check out... This part of a boot. A boot? I think. Yeah. Looks like the 
side of a boot. You got the lace holes. That is a side of a boot. Looks like leather to me. Yeah, it is a side of a boot. That's interesting. Huh. That's an old boot. That's leather and everything. I think that's the bottom of it. Maybe. Yeah, it just deformed. That looks like the bottom of the boot. So someone left their boot here. Mm. And the rest of it, <clears throat> I think, has decayed. So I don't see anything else. Looks like a boot in here. Hmm. Interesting. Something else here. It's been here for a bit, but yeah, it's juicy what that is. Get some video and a picture of that probably. Looks like maybe another matchbox. This was maybe a dynamite box or something? This one? That pile of rubbish. Yeah, probably a cardboard dynamite box. As interesting as that is. So they didn't do that very frequently, and that was very, a lot newer. Yeah, it is. So we both dug in, I went up. Just looking at everything else that's contained in up here. Just want to see if up here is anything else to look at. Might be a way up. Okay. Really weird colors here. It's like soap. Yeah. Wall. there. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's nice and flat on this side too, so it's a nice fault line. Hungry? No. Well, yes, but I'm hungry, but not for that. Jelly sandwich. I'm quite all right, thank you. Oh. Bigfoot burgers there. Sound like the Bigfoot Festival, huh? What? Bigfoot burgers where? See the Bigfoot Festival? Medellin Falls? Huh. Second huh. annual. Huh. Mm -hmm. I did not see that. I've never heard of it. I love Bigfoot. Mm. I didn't know about it until Friday. Ian can tell you I love Bigfoot. Uh huh. You ever been to the Bigfoot Tavern? Uh, down in Division? Yeah. I have not. You're never mind. Mm -hmm. I don't know where you go. Looks a little, won't go with me. I mean, looks a little rough. But. Look at this rope. Yeah, probably hemp. But it's not very strong. No, and it's been there for a while. So All right. I'm going to try up here. I'm not going to go up the ladder. Yeah. It looks doable right here. <laughs> yeah, I'll go up the first step of the ladder. Yeah, go ahead and go up the first step of the ladder. Watch it be just fine. Oh, yep. <laughs> wow. It didn't even last half a second. Oh, yeah. you be careful, please. No, I'll leave it there. Yeah. Just keep going. Yeah, squeeze <laughs> I mean, I guess I'm lost. This is going to be hard on the Yeah. Ah, it's doable. Yeah, it, it goes up to right above where the main level is. And it stops? I don't know whether it stops or not, but it goes on. You want to go check it out before I uh, <laughs> yeah. rip these waders? I can check it out for you. By the way, there's a nice ore pass right here. Nice. Yeah, there is. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You're ruining every other mine going to this shit. I know. Ton. Yeah, a couple hundred ton per day. A couple billion dollars. Yeah. No. Yeah. All right, I'm going to check it out. Yeah, no, no longer, uh, uh, a lot of wooden artifacts up here. And it looks like it used to continue even further on where there used to be a ladder. But the ladder definitely rotted away. I'm just checking out real quick. Oh my gosh, look at that. Incredible mineralization. Just hanging right off. This is more the stuff they were going for, I think. Take a look at that in a second. Yeah. Used to be a 
Nice ladder going up. That's what remains of it. Unfortunate. Just gonna check out over here then. Where there's another remains of ladder. Uh oh, that collapsed. That's not very encouraging. Just enormous in every way up here. No, it doesn't go anywhere. Looks like they used to dump water down here so it can get to where the waterfall is down there. And uh, that's probably about it for right here. Just enormous underground cavities. Huge. All right, well, I'm gonna head back to them. And we're gonna see where we can go from here. We might find some more stuff we might head out, depends. See you soon. And we are now out of the mine after almost four hours. <laughs> was a, that was an incredible adventure. We're just gonna hike our way back up to the cars and head on out. It's a, I think it's exactly two miles and uh, a lot of climbing. But I wanted to do this last bit to say thanks for sticking around for as long as this video ended up being. I hope you can join us on the next adventure. Hopefully to someplace just as remote, just as extreme, and maybe just as big. We'll see. Got a lot more coming up this year. See you guys later.